بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Um, today I was speaking about Surah Yusuf. Um, this Surah had the best of stories. As uh, Allah says, so if somebody will say, Wallahi, I want to tell you the best story, and he does not tell you the story of Yusuf, that person has lied. Because Allah says so, Ahsan al Qasas. أحسن القصص بما وحينا إليك هذا القرآن. الله says we will convey to you Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم the best of stories because of the revelation of the Quran. As all of you know that the word قصة come from following the footsteps, the footprint of someone from قصة الأثر in Arabic. For Allah سبحانه وتعالى does not tell fiction stories. All the stories are real, and the reporter is Allah Himself. But in Surah Yusuf, there's a four lessons very quickly to be learned. Number one, that you need to dream big. Yusuf السلام, doesn't have a small dream. The stars and the moons and prostrate before me, dream big. The second is the relationship of Yusuf السلام, and his father. Children and parents have to share the dreams of one another. In Ibrahim السلام, story, Ibrahim السلام, uh, have his son to learn his dream in Yusuf is Yusuf the son telling the father the dream the, sto the moral of the story is that let the children and the parents share the dream with one another um, and here in the story of Yusuf السلام, we learn that Yusuf السلام, have very close relationship with his father which is all our young people today should have that relationship with their parents and the parents should be very supportive of their children dream now, the third lesson to be learned from this is the issue of jealousy that even happen among family members, community members, and so forth. That's why Prophet Muhammad said, share your dream with those whom you love. They will support you to make you realize your dream. Uh, as he said, the ru'ya saliha, the good vision, dream, share it with people whom you love and you trust. And you learn from the story how you handle sibling rivalry and, and family problems. Because Surah Yusuf is a surah of the family. It talks about the dynamic of relationship of children and their parents and, and, and the, how you overcome uh, difficult issues in the family. And also talk about the family of the, uh, the uh, ruler of Egypt, Al-Aziz. The other lesson to be learned very quickly from that is that never give up. With difficulty and hardship, keep your eyes on the prize and believe in your dream. Because no one can be able to accomplish their dream in an easy way. You have to have obstacles and uh, hurdles you need to jump over them to realize your dream. For Yusuf السلام, before he realized his dream, he went to jail he was thrown into the well, was sold into slavery, name it. And finally, he realized his dream. Keep hope alive, never give up, and always think positively. And finally, what I'd like to say about the, the surah, beautiful surah, is that temptation is real in life. And a person had to be consistent in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'd like to speak to the young people. Whether you, are, whether you are in school bus, whether you're in the university campus, you have to remember God was over you, not your parents. Yusuf السلام, was away completely from everyone that he knew. Yet, he did not respond to temptation. He was very patient, resisting temptation. And when he was in prison, was also patient. Therefore, you have to be patient all the way. Patience is, is, is the most important ingredient for success. But what I would like us to say in general here yeah, today that as you read this story of Yusuf السلام, see yourself in it. And whatever difficulty and hardship you're going through it, there's a hope, there's the uh, uh, you know, light in the end of the tunnel. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us reflect in this uh, beautiful surah that has so many, many, many lessons that all of us can learn from it. Surah Yusuf is a surah that really explains a human struggle from the beginning to the end. And Surah Yusuf is a surah that gives us hope that 
all of us. As we dream big, we have to realize that the hardship have a short duration. It don't last forever. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.